Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be discussing Jujutsu and Swai Jiao. So, modern Swai Jiao has a very interesting heritage. It has a lot of Mongolian, Manchurian, and of course, Judo uh, influence uh, to it. But very little people know that it's not just jacket wrestling. Similar to Judo today, a lot of the old timers focus mostly on self defense and the military aspect of the art. So, Today what we will look at is the old dangerous techniques that would never make their way into competition and actually uh, discuss them. So um, we're going to see the different entries, the different uh, finishes, even though they might be the same techniques and also talk about how jujitsu, in my opinion, can be far more richer, especially in the neiwaza uh, aspect. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first technique will be uh, an outer shoulder throw. Um, I've shared this uh, many times before, but uh, here this Swai Jiao technique or the Swai Jiao variation of it uh, is a bit different than what you see like in one arm sode or the Ippon Serenage with the outstretched arm. So here you see, it's, notice that it's coming from the strike. So it's mostly focusing on the self-defense aspect rather than the competition aspect. So here he's talking, he's, uh, taking this uh, strike in, rotating the wrist, which results in locking in the elbow or locking out the elbow. And then he places it firmly on the shoulder. And notice how they're facing away from each other, almost back to back, which is very uh, important to notice when we compare to jujitsu. And then cuts down with his hands uh, in order to throw him. Now, if Uke doesn't know how to roll his shoulder, tuck his chin, and uh, rotate along the throw you will know that it is a very dangerous throw and they can land easily on the top of their head so that can be an injury to the spine and also the arm so uh, I'm sure you all know this but if an elbow is locked out during a throw in judo you are immediately eliminated and rightfully so so here he's showing that the elbow is locked out he's almost back to back to uke and then cuts down while loading on the back and Uke has to roll in order to land safely. Now let's check out the old jujitsu variation. This is from the Empty Mind film. He's explaining that today's Ippon Serenage is from the inside, which allows the arm to roll and Uke following alongside and you land safely during randori or shiai competition. Um, however, when it comes to old jujitsu, it's almost the same entry as the Swai Jiao that you've seen. You lock out the arm. It's very important to outstretch it so you cannot retrieve it. And then you lock it on your shoulder. But here, uh, the difference is they're not almost back to back, but his torso is somewhat still facing um, Tori. And this will actually uh, cause another type of damage, which is the posted hand. Anyone who knows a little bit about falling and uh, throwing, you know that in out, uh, posting your hand is an injury waiting to happen. So it all comes down to good ukemi, well, rather than to roll, tuck your chin, roll your shoulder, or here to not post your hand. This is what makes these types of techniques dangerous. Um, even to this day, like Olympic level, they still post their hands and they still uh, break it. So this is the first one. The next one is somewhat similar, but the finish is much different. So he's defending against the strike, outstretches the arm, locks the shoulder this time, not so much on the elbow level, and then projects uh, forward, but um, rather than turn away from Uke and then cuts down. So here um, he locks the elbow and does like a Ashiguruma type finish. So here you see the strike. He locks the shoulder, he rests it on the crease of the elbow on the inside, and then he can strike the face. And here he outstretched his leg on the knee level and throws away as in Ashiguruma. This is very reminiscent to Ude Kime Nage of Aiki Jujutsu, Jujutsu or Aikido. Um, now you can see it is very popular in Aikido because it has that flow in it. So you outstretch the arm. You lock not on the elbow, but on the shoulder level on the high end of the tricep. And then you cut down as you are moving forward. So here you outstretch and then you lock on the upper side of the tricep, almost on the shoulder. And then you cut down 
not so much throwing to the front but down and to the front so here this is an ashiguruma ashiguruma where you actually go to the side put your foot on the knee level and you wheel them over your leg hence the name leg wheel so imagine doing this but with a locked uh, shoulder so you can imagine that a lot of things can actually go wrong especially if uke doesn't know how to fall this all comes down to if uke knows how to fall so the next one in my opinion i've never seen it in swai jiao particularly but as the same entry it's a i would say gyaku kataguruma like a reverse uh, shoulder wheel where the torso is facing up to the sky so what makes this in my opinion very dangerous is that again it's all about the fall so it's not rolling like your classical kataguruma where the shoulder is uh rolling on the torso of uke uh I'm, I'm sorry the torso of tori so here you can land first of all flat on your back which will make your lungs almost feel like they've exploded and also the second danger is um the back of your head bouncing off the mat or on concrete uh, I recently um, was doing randori and I fell on my side and my head bounced off the mat and it wasn't a pleasant feeling so you can imagine what can happen on concrete and also on the back of your head so here you can see the arm is on the torso of um, Tori and you can roll and you can land safely and also Tori can help you by still grabbing your sleeve which will make the landing much safer the first one that i've shown the old jujitsu variation um, it's not as controlled or it's not as safe to practice so and also getting someone like a like a torture rack style kataguruma it's not an easy thing to do so you'd have to be really uh, advanced uh, in doing so now what makes in my opinion a jujitsu much richer than all the other wrestling styles is the Neiwaza. You see Boch, you see Sumo, you see Suai Jiao. All of them lack so much ground technique and some have none. Have you seen here like the neck twist? Here you see the Se Shigi, the back breaker. All these very lethal and dangerous techniques that can leave you uh, injured for life. Here you see Koshi Shigi, a hip breaker. If you want to see more on these from the 1913 um, jujitsu book that i made a video on i'll li link it at the end but as you can see it all comes down to the landing but it's also how you uh, set up the throw setting up the throw in a way that you can um, seriously injure someone is very important locking the elbow um, also turning your back uh, how you throw them recklessly or in a controlled matter it all comes down to you and of course uke has a job to know how to land safely so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i post exclusive content for the patrons once a week my main content will always be here on youtube but your support would mean greatly if you have, if you have anything else to add comment down below this was shady and thank you for listening